Hello and welcome back to Adventures of Well A Me and today we're going to be continuing our Pokemon Yellow Randomized Nuzlocke Challenge. This is episode number 7. Let's do a quick Pokemon Party recap. We have some more members in our team now. First off we have Aya, a level 10 Dragonair, which we got from the Magikarp Salesman. Um, we also have Hot Air, our Jigglypuff, level 13 with Sing and Pound there. We have Cersei, our level 9 Knitter and Female, Growl, Tackle, Scratch, Swords, which was our starter Pokemon, a level 16, Quick Attacking Scyther. And we have Shrooms, our most recent party member, captured in a Mount Moon itself, the level 12 Paris. And let's get on with it. Now, today's goals we said we're going to be. Well, let's just do a quick save, just in case I forgot to do it in the last episode. I'm pretty sure I did. Anyway, we'll get our um, three additional party members up to level 12. Possibly get a um, lovely little Jigglypuff up to maybe level 15. And get swords up at least one more level. That'll be perfect if we could do that. Probably not going to happen. But we shall see. Anyway, we're going to swap into Swords here to take out this Diglett because Swords is our our master Pokemon. It is the strongest one that we have so far. Or well, the one that can deal the most damage with the only attack it knows, which is Quick Attack. Um, and it gets a lot of crits too because it's fast. Yes, because that's how they generate it. Anyway, let's go through this little tunnel here. See what we come across. Oh. I wonder if there are just absolutely any, like, amazing, amazing Pokemon that you could encounter in this, um, portion of the game, I suppose. Uh, let's run from this G-Dude. I don't want to fight it. It's going to take too long. Um, you know, the Pokemon that we missed out on that we could have encountered that would have just been absolutely Awesome, instead of the Paris that we got. I mean, Paris is okay, okay. I'm not saying Paris is bad, I just... I think there are plenty of better Pokemon out there in the world. Anyway, we're going to take it this Rattata that we have encountered there. Oh, there was uh, another glitch there with the HP bar. It happened in a lot of one of the previous episodes as well. Either way, either way, either way... Rap is going to be absolute ownage against the Rattata. As long as we can get in there first with the attack and we don't miss... We're good to go with Dragonair. But I don't want to risk it. Grew to level 11. Okay, so it's one level off the designated target level that we assigned it. Designated target. Pretty much the exact same words there. <laughs> the target level that we were aiming to achieve with all our um, newest additions. Which, Paris was caught on level 12, so I don't know why I set level 12 as what we were going for. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Let's use our Thunder Wave on this shoulder there. Hopefully we can paralyze it just in case we don't get any withdrawal. Just in case we don't get any good moves with our wrap here. Let's see how much damage this does. I think we're gonna miss. We're gonna miss, but it's fully paralyzed. And we miss again. Um, okay, okay, okay. What to do, what to do. Let's switch out to hot air here. The level 13 jiggly buff. Um, yeah, it'd be good to get hot air to level 15. Let's power through this battle. Tackle's not... I mean, pound, sorry. Pound is not really doing anything. Zelda has tackle. Ed's tackling us. And it's doing pretty much the exact same damage that we're doing to it with pound. And I was going to use another withdrawal. That doesn't help yet, having it use its defense rising moves. Stat boosters. Do not like them. It's gonna use it again. Ah! It's gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> there we go. It's fully paralyzed. And we take it out with a critical hit there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're gonna get 112 experience points for each of the Pokemon in the battle there, which is not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Spiro, Spiro, Spiro. Let's get back out to Aya. Get Aya at level 12, then we'll swap in the Nidor and Freemail that we have. Um, just because that'll be a nice way to kind of make sure that we get the Pokemon that we're trying to get to a certain level up to a certain level. We're going to take this Spiro out with the Rapier. It's going to be the best way to do it. 
it won't be able to move because we are faster. I mean, Dragonair does have quite high statistics. And one more. There we go, there we go, there we go. We're going to get 136 experience points and another Spiro. So we might as well stay in with our Dragonair to try and take this one out as well. Because why not? It's going to get the experience that we need it to get. It's going to just trap the enemy into a move for us anyway. There we go. The last one there is going to take it out. Okay. And um, what is the item that we're going to get from over here? Of course we encounter a Pokemon right before I am. It's going to be a sound true. Yeah, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. I'm just going to say, let us... Uh, what can we do? Let's just let's just go into swords. Let's sword handle it. Yeah, I'm a bit bit lazy there. I just want swords to learn enough move, really. That's all it is. That's all it is. I just want him to learn to move. I want him to have two moves that he can rely on. Everyone else has more than one move. He's missing out. That's what it is. He's just missing out. We need to help bring his spirits up. <laughs> Get him another move so he feels more confident in himself. Or I can just keep talking garbage. You know. Anyway, question of the day today, guys. Let's think about that, shall we? So last time we heard, what's your favourite? Trainer class? Today we are going to have, what is your favourite Pokemon type? I'm going to bring a candy. What is your favourite Pokemon type? Personally, my favourite Pokemon type is Psychic. I've always liked Psychic Pokemon. I mean, for a long time there, Alakazam was my favourite Pokemon. So, I did, I did like the Psychic Pokemon. Anyway, what's your favourite Pokemon type? Let me know in the comment section down below because I would absolutely love to hear it. Okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to switch out to hot... Yeah, let hot air do some damage because we are five levels higher than it. Hopefully we'll be able to defeat it quite easily. Anyway, yeah, so, favorite Pokemon type. I would like to know. <laughs> yeah, we did good damage there. Perfect. Taking it down critical here to finish it off there. Didn't really get much experience points though, it's a bit disappointing. And a Mankey, now that is cool. That is cool. I would like it if at some point we could capture a Mankey on our quest here. Um, Ben will not send out one for this one because it will probably take it out in one hit. Excuse me while I eat some chocolate here guys. I just had some chocolate eggs there, guys, and I was starting to crave them. So I thought, why not just have one? Why not? Anyway, we have defeated the monkey here. 58 experience points each. Not too bad for the wild Pokemon. Anyway, let's have a look at our team. Um, Health-wise, where are we? Potion. I don't know why I have the max revive there. I need to sell that off next time we get to a Pokemon mark. Okay, there we go. They're back up higher. Rare candy, rare candy, rare candy. Honestly, I kind of want to use the rare candies. What have we got? We've got two rare candies. Let's go and 
get into a battle here. Hope he doesn't have Pokemon that are just gonna absolutely obliterate our team. I hope no one has a legendary. <laughs> For whatever reason. Farfetch, okay. Farfetch isn't bad. Let's see what damage we can do with our meter and a female before we consider swapping out. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> So about the swords. Then we're going quick attack. Let's see what this does. Five levels higher. Decent damage. Decent damage. Not too bad. Hundred nine experience points. Cersei grid a level ten. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, switch back out to hot air. I'm just thinking, what would have been a good choice there? Do we use rare candies now, or do we save them for when Pokemon are at a higher level and we want to get them up? I don't know. Hope that doesn't crit. Okay. That's alright, that's alright. Hot air gains 225 experience of points there. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, let's use some potions before I forget. We only have three left. That's not good. Um right, let's just use the rare candies. On Cersei now, get her up to level 12. Just because that way they're all out of standard level. It's gonna land double kick. That's awesome. We've got a new move type there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's what we need. That way we're not gonna rely on switching out as much. And a hyper potion. That's gonna come in handy later on, I can assure you. <clears throat> Okay. Double kick. Boom. Does some decent damage. Okay. Alright, so Cersei may be able to hold her ground now. Alright, let's switch shrooms up to the front. One of your stats like streams. What have we got? Twenty. Okay, so it's got scr it's got scratch. Okay, so swords is not the only Pokemon with only one move, but I feel like oh, okay. Let's have a look here. Paris, level twelve. Paris level twelve. Okay, that that's usual. Ah, got him first. Wonder if we're speed type. No, it's faster. I don't want to just let our Paris try and take out this Paris. If it gets a crit, I'm gonna cry. Here we go, We're taking it out. <laughs> Risky moves again, risky moves. Well, let's use that. Use potion on our parasite shrooms. Yeah, living a little bit on the wild side there. Max revive. Okay, we need to sell off the uh, oaf. We need to sell off both of those max revives so we can get a bit more cash and some potions. <sighs> okay, let's see what this guy has. Bug catcher. Gonna have a Caterpie? Okay, so. Not gonna be too bad. Although it is faster.
We're gonna do a bit more damage to it though. That's all right. Perfect. Whew. Get us some experience points because that is what we need. Kakuna, yeah, we can take that one as well. Hopefully, it's only got like hardened. It's defense rose. Yeah, we do a bit of damage. But it's gonna keep getting high defense. That's the only thing. Oh well, oh well, oh well. No worries. <clears throat> Use another scratch. It's just gonna keep getting hard. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you kidding me? Nothing happened. All right, there we go. Take it out there. Let's get some good experience from that one. 151. Yeah, it's okay. And a metapod. So let's just stay in with shrooms here. It's gonna be like the same battle that we just had. Gonna be a little bit boring. I just need to kind of ramble on about something here. Anyways, I've got the video recording for the Majora's Mask 3DS um, limited edition console there. I was thinking I'm just gonna chuck it over some music rather than do a post commentary on it because I just held it up and kind of looked over it. I didn't know what to say. I'm just gonna chuck it over music for you guys to see it. Bit of a close up. I'm sure you can look up this of it and all that. Um, it's not overly different to the original um, 3DS consoles, or 3DS XL console, I should say. Um, I'll just chuck it over some music just so you can have a look at it, like a bit of a, you know, I suppose I did a bit of a 360 perspective of it. You can have, just look at it from all the different angles and see what you think about it. I mean, I love it. It feels much better in the hands. Um, but yeah, there's not really much to talk about if you've already seen it. If you're just trying to upgrade, you kind of... I'm assuming you would have already looked at the, you know, new specs and all that. And if you're looking into getting one, you can pretty much just see everything that's on another egg, Andy. Everything that's on it. So I just might do a... Um, Chuck it over music and chuck that up on YouTube. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's all too hard. Streams are now level 13. Anyway, we're done sport. Right, that was going to quick attack. Let's hope it doesn't take us out. Okay, let's switch into our buddy swords. Swords. There we go, there we go, there we go. Um, okay. What now? Let's head... Let's head back to the Pokemon Center. Heal up, and then in the next episode we'll be able to continue our way through Mountain Moon. I'm just trying to think if that's a better option if we end the episode here. I don't know, I don't know. Not paying attention. I have my potion. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a waste, but oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. We didn't lose him. So no, I'm okay. I'm not gonna call it the end of an episode yet. I'm gonna make this a longer episode for you guys because I don't want to spend. You know, episode after episode after episode going through Mount Moon. I kind of want to get this done, like, as quick as possible. So. What I'll do, I'll go heal up. And we'll make our way through at least the bottom section of um, Mount Moon. 
And then in the next episode, I'll do a running montage. I might head back over to the Pokemon Mart, Pokemon in the grinding montage. Grab a rappel. Or two. Um, sell those max revives. And then head back up to <laughs> back up to Mount Moon. That might be a better plan. So I'll make this a longer episode for you guys. I'll make it a longer episode. Don't know how long it's gonna be. We'll just get through the ladders on the floor that we're on now in um, Mount Moon. So I think there's one more section that we can go through to kind of clear out all that stuff so we don't miss anything in the game. And then we'll head up through to the second floor. And we'll see how we go with HP-wise. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it as a bit of a grinding montage until we get to it in the next trainer at least because I don't know how many more Pokemon we're going to come across. So I'll skip through it, speed it up for you guys, and I'll stop it at the next trainer. I'll talk to you in a minute. How's that? Didn't come across any Pokemon after I said that. Of course that's the way. The like, grunty montage. Yay! Yeah, hey, no. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna leave that there. Pidgeotto. Okay. Starting to come across some... Um, more interesting Pokemon, I should say. I kind of do want to handle it with swords. I don't know how this is gonna go. Just thinking high level it might be a little bit easier on us. Oh, well, let's have a look. Quick attack. Ah! And we miss. Okay. Right, it's gonna use Gust, which is not gonna be. No. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Did pretty much nothing. No bug flying, so it kind of it's, it's neutral. But I thought it would be a bit stronger against us. Oh, well, taking out the Pidgeotto there. 132 experience points, and Swords so is going to level 17, which is kind of what we're aiming for. And we went Leer. Amazing move, amazing move. It's gonna Oddish. Okay, let's switch into Cersei. I kinda want to I kinda wanna focus on leveling up all my other Pokemon before I level up. And the dragon out. I mean not leveling up all the other Pokemon, kinda just Having Dragonair with experience here, if we get that at some point, might be a better choice. And we did pretty much absolutely nothing with our double kick there, so let's um, be scratch. That's a little bit better, but I'm gonna speed it up. Tap the speed up button. Just because it's gonna take a little bit. It's probably annoying. So many people out there. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Do, 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 do. This takes so long, so long, so long, so long. Here we go, here we go. This is gonna finish it off for us. Okay, there we go. Critical hit too. So Cersei is not going to level up. It's going to get a lot of experience, but not going to level up. Oh well, does not matter. Moving on, let's... Ah! Ah! <laughs> of course that happened, of course that happened. Anyway, what we're going to do... <laughs> we're going to move on and try and fight that next trainer that's going to be hanging around. Just... Because. <laughs> oh, getting close to almost taking these diglets out in one shot. Getting better, getting better. Ooh, here we go. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Level 14, there we go. Mm. Oh, I could be so frustrated. Uh... 
Okay. Moving down. I'll go battle this trainer. Then I'll go up that ladder. Or down the ladder. And do that section. Because I don't know. This is this guy is dealt with. And we can move on to the next section. No worries. Gentlemen. The gentleman. Spiro. Let's see what damage we can do to this Spiro. Oh, it's getting his peck. Don't kill us, don't kill us, don't kill us. No! Okay, there we go. Shrooms is gone. Oh well. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. We've still got some good Pokemon. We've still got some good Pokemon. I spent all that time. Ah. Oh well. It happens. I'm stupid. I knew that it was gonna happen. Oh, why did I think I could do it? Why, 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 why? This is what I mean when I say I'm a bit careless with my Pokemon in Nuzlocke Challenges. I just let them die. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was. But we're going to have our lovely Aya level up now. Because I don't know what else to do. Mourning the loss. Of our Paris, I suppose, by sending out a beautiful dragon to fight. Oh, we miss. Yes, yeah, so I am speeding this battle up a bit, guys. I'm frustrated. I know it's my own fault. It's my own fault. I'm frustrated at myself, so I'm speeding the game up. How does that sound? <laughs> There we go. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Our poor... No, he's not swords. What am I doing? Let's poor... What am I doing? Hot air. Get in first place. Yes, yeah, so it was my own fault that I did that. I got... I got cocky. Alright, let's fight this guy. What's he got for us? Alright, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I'm sure I'm going to be able to take him out easy. What does he have? Fish on? Really? Jigglypuff. Yes, Jigglypuff. Bam! It's going to go to sleep. That's what we want. Okay, and then we're going to pound it. I think this is what you get played There we go, there we go. There we go. Pound, pound, pound. Still fast asleep. Awesome. Doing good damage to it too. Yes, it didn't get a single move in on us. Awesome. We rock. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to do. 195 experience points. We're going to go to level 14. Two. That is awesome. And we're going to learn the Sable. Let's keep hot airing. Because we did say we wanted to get to level 14. If you'll excuse me for a second, guys. What? Well, you can have them. Don't be I'm busy. I'll come out and play in a minute. Lauren's not here. Sorry about that, guys. My brother was just calling at my door for me. Mmm, the polybag is faster. But we're going to do a lot more damage to it, so it does not matter. That was a critical hit, so yeah. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so let's get this item which we have TM fourteen. What is TM fourteen? Oh, 
wizard. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe should we take Blizzard to Cersei? I want to teach it to one of these. Um, I know. I'm gonna have a quick look at move sets, guys. It's not really going to learn much. So what is it? Level 14. So it's just on Disable. It's going to learn Double Slap, Body Slam, and Double Edge. We have Dragonair, which is going to learn. What level are we for Dragonair? Level 12. It's going to learn Agility, Slam, Dragon Rage, and Hyper Beam. Or we have Neuter and Female. Which is going to learn Poison Sting, Tail Whip, Bite, and Fury Swipes. I kind of I'm going to teach that to Jigglypuff. Have a really unique Jigglypuff on our team. Learn Blizzard. Yes. See, that, I feel like that's going to be coming in handy later on down the track. Being a normal type, not having, you know, same weaknesses as others, that might come in handy. Except if we lose it, now I'm going to be really annoyed. And we found a potion that is handy. Okay. That has increased the hype cheekily puff with Blizzard. Sorry guys, move the mic. Changed the way I was sitting, so I thought I should move the mic. Let's use this Blizzard now, see if we can hit... Ah, crazy! This is going to be awesome. It's going to be the most awesome Jigglypuff that you have ever seen. But I would really like if we could get a... Oh, we need two Moonstones. Oh. See, I kind of now want to get... Wigglytuff, so we've got better stats on our Jigglytuff. Jigglypuff. Oh, what am I saying? Words would help. Oh. Why did I do something? I could have just gone for Blizzard. Now, let's just pound it. Let's not waste another Blizzard on this one. Oh, no, that's the question. Do we want to get... Do we want to get Nidder Queen or do we want to get Wigglytuff? See, Wigglytuff doesn't even learn any more new moves. So essentially, we're going to have to get Clef not Clefairy, what am I doing? Clicking the wrong Pokemon. We're going to have to get. Jiggly puff to level 39 before we attempt evolving it. Or we have Neuter and Female. Neuterina. Kind of learn the same moves. Okay. And what does Neuter Queen learn anything? Body Slam, which the others. Don't learn. Okay. So the only real thing that Nido Queen's gonna learn is Body Slam, but. I mean, what's its overall stats look like? Let's have a look. Stats! 
Okay, well. Let's go grab. Oh, let's go grab the item from the corner. Really tough stats. I mean, Nita Queen has higher stats, but we might come across. Like. One in the. One in the wild? Oh. It's a tough choice. Like, do we go for. Ugh. Like, if we get a Moonstone, we're going to evolve Jigglypuff. That's what I'm thinking. Or a Storm, that's not bad. Okay. Let's get into this. Taking out the Clerk. Clerk. <laughs> Ooh, you got a Dratini. Got a Dratini. Use a blizzard. Of course, we're paralyzed, and now it's going to use rat. That's frustrating. Well, I couldn't have gone for Leah. No, I just did. Then I'm going to be paralyzed. Yeah. Predictions. Oh yeah, use the blizzard there. There we go. Ooh. Yes, let's change Pokemon. Cersei. Double kick. Let's do some good damage to him. Yes. That is what we like. Hit the enemy two times and a scratch. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Says he's going to go to level 13. And really tough. Let's, let's go up to Aya. Oh, look at that. We can have one of those. And Rap is going to do absolutely nothing. Okay. Let's just speed this up a little bit. I was going to use Disable. Rap was disabled, so let's go out and do Sword. Come on, Sword. Okay, it's just gonna keep using defense curl. Oh well, oh well, oh well. There we go, taking out the wiggly tough. What experience does it? 115 HP? Yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. Defeated the clerk. You know what we need to do? Use paralyze heal. Um. Now, hot air there. And get through to the next portion of the mountain. Is there an item up there? Oh. Of course we encounter a wild Pokemon. And what am I doing? I'm just whoa, 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 whoa. Switch Pokemon to swords. What am I doing? Living dangerously. Okay, quick attack. There we go. It's gonna miss with the low kick. <sighs> I really need to heal up my Pokemon. Oh, we got potions.
Let's choose. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I was just having a look. Okay. <laughs> oh well. Rah. <laughs> Yep, that's all the rage that they had building inside me. Just enough to say, rah. Pound. Might as well get rid of it. Oh well, Pokemon have leveled up a little bit in this episode. Kind of... It's around 40 minutes. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's battle this Team Rocket member. And then that can be the end of the episode. Little kids should leave grown ups alone. Hmm. Oh. spoiled little Team Rocket member. Pidgey. So let's switch into Swords here because Swords is awesome! And he's Ghost, which I kept. Fear in my life every time I saw Gust being used, but then I remember we're part flying type, so it's not going to affect us that much, at least. Anyways, let's take out this little Pidgey here. Only 75 experience points each, so that's nothing. Oh, well, let's keep swords in, take out the Nidder and female. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Mm, growl, of course it's going to be growl. What would you expect? Okay, taking out the neuter and female there. Okay, I'm going to get 163 experience points. Still not going to level up to level 18 anytime soon. Which is generally what I'd be sitting on around about. Anyway... This is where we'll call it end of an episode. We'll finish off Mountain Moon and the path up to Cerulean City in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Please leave a like, show your support down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, I can't remember if I did the question of the day or not. Pretty sure I did. If I didn't, oh well, doesn't matter. We can miss it for one episode. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day, guys, and I will see you next time.